Who is ready to make some science? Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z, coming at you with my Pokemon Stars predictions. In this episode, we're going to look at some alternate forms, some redesigns, and some possibilities for new abilities. So let's jump right into it here with a new typing for one of my favorites, Absol. And instead of just making it a dark type, how about we get a dark poison in there? Uh, I've mentioned this in previous episodes, you often see a poison typing added to the Alolan forms. And I think it'd be really awesome if Absol got one as well. And then give it access to abilities Merciless and Corrosion. I believe Merciless will make it so that if your opponent is poisoned, all critical hits will be more powerful. And then Corrosion is the ability to poison Steel types. So that's really impressive, considering that normally Steel types cannot be poisoned. So that's powerful for taking down some walls in metagame. So, what do you think of that form of Absol? Maybe there could be a Mega Dark Poison Absol as well. I'm not really entirely sure what that would look like, but if you've got suggestions or if you're making fan art for the new Pokemon Stars game, be sure to hit me up and maybe get included on this episode. But hey, let's move on to the next one, Alolan Hone Edge here. What's awesome about the next Pokemon set here is that it's complete and a whole evolution chain that has been drawn out in Alolan forms. This form of Hone Edge looks more like a fishing hook, which I think is personally very appropriate for the Alolan region. And as we move up the evolutionary ladder onto Dewblade, we can see some tiki designs being implemented by the creator Locomotive 111. So check out their DeviantArt because really this whole series is thanks to them and their masterful designs of Alolan form Pokemon. And the final evolution looks more threatening than ever and perfect for an island type Pokemon to become. Uh, and in this form I thought of giving it a difference of making it more defensive with the alternative ability Telepathy, which will prevent any damage received from your allies in double or triple battles so that will make sure well i don't know if triple battles exist anymore in the future of pokemon stars wouldn't that be nice if they came back uh if you had the opportunity though telepathy would guard agaslash a lowland form from any damage like an earthquake or a surf well surf wouldn't hurt but earthquake and things of the like that would damage everybody on the field and for our final a lowland form take a look at this tropius I don't know why this Pokemon did not reappear on the island since it seems to be such a burgeoning based plant Pokemon. You know, it's it's going to grow even better in tropical conditions and because of that it's going to have access to abilities like Chlorophyll, Leaf Guard, which prevent any sort of status effects in the sunlight, and Harvest where it can keep eating berries, which really makes sense for this Pokemon's character design in the Alolan form seeing as it's going to have such a surplus of berries to slurp up. Well, I've been Diogen Z, hoping you've been enjoying my Alolan predictions. Sorry for the pause in the episodes, people. Uh, it just takes a lot to make these episodes, and sometimes I don't have uh, a week to put them all together. But hey, thanks for sticking in there with me. Put your suggestions below. What do you think is going to come up in the new Pokemon Stars game? I'm curious to think of what new features may be coming along there because hey uh, we got a new battle royale style and maybe Pokemon Stars has something different for the Switch we can only hope so so I've been Diogen Z and if you like this content you can find exclusive bonus feed content on my Patreon so go check that out by clicking the little I in the right hand corner of the screen and I'll link you up to that and you can find out some behind the scenes info about Diogen Z